The tab index of objects on a page generates automatically based on the order they are placed onto a page. The tab index determines several things. It determines the order in which objects will be presented in the system to designers and when data is exported in reports. It controls how a user will navigate through things on a page by pressing their tab key. The option to modify the tab index is significant because in many apps objects added to a page later can likely affect that page's logical tab index. The tab index for an object is in its properties and the settings tab. To change the tab index for an object, change the number in the tab index field. Two objects may not share the same tab index, so a change in one object's tab index will also change the tab index of other things. It's more logical and easier to manage if you re-index your objects from the top of the page. The tab stop checkbox will, if selected, allow that object to be visited if a user is navigating through a page using their tab key. To exempt an object from being visited in the tab order, uncheck the tab stop checkbox. Exempting an object is quite common for calculated fields. If a field value is calculated by behaviour and doesn't need any input from the user, the object is not required to be visited by the tab key option. Be aware that the tab index also determines the order objects are listed in the left-hand navigation panel.